Your sermon and your hearing today is man is not on a crossroad, but man is uh-uh. on a broad, a broad road. You'll find me once again, Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14, as we read the blessed word of God. Yeah, it Lord. says, enter by the narrow gate. Mm-hmm. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that yeah. leads to destruction. Broad mm-hmm. is the way that leads to destruction. And mm-hmm. there are many who go in by it. Go in yeah, by yeah, it. Yeah, it. Uh-huh. Because narrow is the gate. And uh-huh. difficult is the way which leads yeah. to life. life. And yeah. there are yeah. few who find it. Let me read it again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Matthew read 7, it. verse 13 and 14. Enter mm-hmm. by the narrow gate, for wide yeah. is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there mm-hmm. are many who go in by it, because oh. narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And mm-hmm. there are few who find it. Okay. Let's go to God in prayer. Man's not on a crossroad, but man's on a broad road. Dear Lord, right, Heavenly Lord. Father, we thank you, praise you, magnify and glorify yes, you for this glorious word that you allow us to preach and teach today. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, I'm empty before you, God. I need you. I can't live without yes, you, God. I'm, I'm just an empty cup. I ask you to fill it up with your yeah, word, yeah. God. Give us understanding from on high. Challenge yeah. us, God, in this world that we yeah. live, to live godly. Uh-huh. And God, we pray in Jesus' name that the Holy Ghost would do a work today like never before. Open Uh, up uh, our minds that we may understand the wonders out of your law. And we'll be sure to make sure Uh, you and you alone receive all the glory, honor, and praise both now Uh, and forever in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. 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 Any truck driver, anybody even fresh out of trucking school, All right. even an old timer like me, mm-hmm. we know that you can get north, that you can't go to Florida by going north. All right. Uh-huh. We know that you can't get to the east coast by going west. Amen. We know that you can't get to California by going south. Amen. And we know that you can't get to Chicago by going east. All right. It just lets us know that just like in it's true in the physical realm, it's also true in the spiritual realm. Yeah, it is. Where you and listen, where you spend eternity is determined by the road uh-huh. that you take here on earth. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's impossible to take the wrong road and wind up in heaven. Uh huh. It's impossible to take the wrong road and wind up in hell. Amen. Your path uh-huh. today will set your eternal resting place. All right. That, my brother and sisters, is your forever choice. Mm-hmm. It's no way in the world you could take the wrong road and wind up in heaven. Amen. Yeah, yeah, amen. There's no amen. way you can take the wrong road and wind up in hell. Whatever road yeah. you're going down, that's where you're going to set your eternal forever place. Oh, yes, yes, this yes. life is brief. Amen. It's mm-hmm. a pause between two very long eternities. And uh, nobody uh, should be surprised we're surrounded by death from day to day. Oh, Every yeah. day you're born, you're surrounded by death. Listen, loved ones pass away. Friends leave this world. And deep down uh-huh. inside, even though we may not want to talk about it, we know the same thing is going to happen to each and every one of us one day. Amen. Uh-huh. We do everything we can to prolong it. But the, but the real side of life is you're getting closer every day, every breath you take. Mm-hmm. The fact that you won't live forever is a common theme throughout the whole entire Bible. Uh, See, you got to realize something. Death is nothing but a part of the process of life. You got to realize something that death is going to come. Listen, I want you to know you can live the best you can live down here on the earth, but I'm telling you something, it's going to have a dead end. (laughs) I don't know who I'm talking to. Well, listen, listen, I want you to realize something that James 4 and 14 said, wherein you know not what you shall be on tomorrow, for what is your uh, life? It is a vapor. It appears for a little time, and then it vanishes away. 
Life at its best is God and dead. Life at its best. Listen, you can have all the money and riches in the world. Uh-huh. But you're going to leave them behind because oh. life comes to a dead end. Oh, my Amen. God. Help me, Jesus. Uh-huh. And as soon and very soon, whether you like it or not, we're all going to see the king. Amen. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Bible yeah. says every knee shall bow, every mouth shall confess. Soon and very soon, everybody is going to see the king. And every knee shall bow, and every mouth shall confess that Jesus is Lord. And nobody on earth ever throughout the beginning of time to the end of time is going to miss it. They're never going to miss it. Because everybody's going to have to give an account. Good God everybody, Almighty. Everybody, everybody. Listen, we will, we will live eternally either in heaven or hell. And I know it's not popular because a lot of churches now, they don't talk about heaven or hell. They don't talk about living or dying. It's amazing how everybody's conversation comes back to money. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like that's the only thing. Let me tell you something. You better get in the church that they don't do nothing. Listen, you better get inside a ministry where the focus ain't just money. Amen. That's right. You better get, you better get somewhere somebody's concerned about your soul. Amen. You better get somewhere if somebody's concerned about your growth and development in God. You better oh, get yeah. somewhere that somebody's concerned about you other than your pocketbook. Because if all you care about, listen, if all you care about is my pocketbook, all you're going to try to do is get in it. Amen. Uh, right, you know right, what? Right. I ain't fooling with some of y'all today. <laughs> listen, there are, there, there are only two possible directions. Uh-huh. Only, listen, Jesus tells them it's only two paths in life and I don't care where you're at I don't care where you live it don't matter if you're black, white, Spanish, Jewish Presbyterian. Mm-hmm. listen I'm here to tell you today that Jesus said it's only two roads in life that's it Amen. that's it uh-huh. only two roads. listen I don't care listen you got some people say all paths lead to God you are lying in the true path no no no, no. Amen. All paths do not lead. Right, Come on, it's a lot of God oh, is we, only we two paths of life. Right. While many today tell us that there are many paths of life. Well, uh, uh, well, 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 let me tell you something. May God be true and every man be a liar, and I'm going to believe God. Amen. Some think that, 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 that a narrow view, is, 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 that, that, that's too small. So you got some people to think that you can just go down any road and as long as you a good person and as long as you do something nice, as long as you give blood, get to the Salvation Army, that you're going to get a, a card blanche to heaven. Let me tell you something. You better watch who you listen to. You better watch who you listen to. Because that form of thinking that they think that, oh, this narrow road, Pastor, that's narrow thinking. Let me tell you something. That's godly thinking. Amen. That's godly uh-huh. thinking. Because Jesus uh-huh. said it, and if God said it, I believe it, and that's Amen. it. Watch Amen. it. Amen. This Amen. narrow road. But he knows, because, listen, and the reason why I listen to Jesus and what he said is because he's the only one that traveled that road and came back to tell about it. Ooh, can I get a witness? Uh, 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 Stand out and say amen. Buddha amen. didn't come back. Muhammad amen. didn't come amen. back. Harry Christian uh, didn't come back. None of them came back to tell me what's on the other side. Nobody came back. But Jesus, can I get a word? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah right, no, 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 no. Nobody ever died and came back to tell the story. Amen. Are oh, you listening to me? So, 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 so whatever Jesus said, I'm going to believe it. Because he's the only one that traveled the road. Listen, how are you going to tell me about something you ain't never seen yourself? He came back and wrote the book. God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. That, the, 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 that word spacious. See, he said it's a broad road. Now that word broad that that Broadway means because some of y'all think you're talking about Broad Street. No, in every city there's always a Broad Street. Because the Broad Street is the way that many, many people travel. It's where your shopping is, it's where your business is, it's where the main center part of Center City is. Can I get a witness? There's always a Broad Street or Main Street in every city. And listen, let me tell you something. He said that that Broadway, that's the world's way. That means a spacious way, all right? It's a spacious road that you can walk today. It's wide open. You can listen. You can do whatever you want on that road. You can do whatever you like on that road. You can believe whatever you want 
on that road, you can love whoever you want. If you, if you can't be with the one you love, you can love the one you're with. Long as you're on that road, when you're on that broad road, when you're on that wide road, you can you can run with all the people you like. Listen, listen, you, uh, go, 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 you can carry all of your baggage of sin right along with you. Yeah, you can pack all your bags. Listen, whatever you want to be or whatever you try to hide or whatever you keep in secret. Listen, listen, he don't matter. Listen, no, you on fucking Broadway, you can come anywhere you want. Uh, Lord. All right, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Amen. You can Amen. live like you want. Uh huh. You can call all your own shots on the broad oh, yeah. road. So uh-huh. you can call all your listen. You can say what you want to do, what you don't want to do. You can do all that on the broad road, baby. You can listen. You, you, can, you can be your own person. You know, you got a lot of people. Listen, I'm my own person, and this is what I want to do. And, 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 and I, I, listen, I can kiss a boy or whatever I want to live. Live like I want to live. Nobody say nothing to me. I'm being my own person. This is who I am. Come on now, and uh-huh. listen, and not have to answer to anyone. See, on the broad road, listen, on that wide road, listen, on that Broadway, you don't have to answer to nobody. That's why so many people want it. You can do what you want to do, say what you want to say, be with who you want to be with. Listen, everything is all right as long as you're on that road. Oh, Lord. Listen, and let me tell you why so many people are choosing to go down that road today. Some of y'all daughters is on that road. Some of your family's on that road. Some of y'all cousins on that road. Some of your brothers on that road. Let me tell you something. Some of y'all on the phone might be on that road. But I don't know if you're on that road. But you know if you're on that road. That road, because if you're on that road, you don't let nobody question nothing that you do. My God, that's right. Because that's right. uh, so you don't have to answer to anybody but yourself. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. But uh, there's a dark side. I wish I had somebody say, Pastor, it's a dark side. Oh, yeah, baby, it's a dark side. I want to tell you something. It's a dark side to Broadway, baby. It's a side to Broadway. Let me tell you something, and it just ain't the nightlight. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a dark side to Broadway. Listen, and I want you to realize something. This dark side is this is open-minded. You understand? It's pleasure seeking life. Uh-huh. Listen, mm-hmm. by choice. Do what mm-hmm. you want to do. If you choose to do it, go ahead and do it. Whatever makes you feel good on Broadway, baby. My it's God. a dark side uh-huh. to Broadway. Oh, and yeah, don't yeah. you Amen. even settle in uh-huh. to a life uh-huh. where you're living out there like that. Mm-hmm. Your life is Something the Lord put in my spirit to tell all of you that you may not know that you aren't really in control of everything on the Broadway. I want you to know you are really not in control of your future. You're not in control of what you do. You're not in control of what you say. It's not about not loving if you don't love the one you with. Listen, if you can't love the one you with, love anybody that you can. It's not about that. Let me tell you something. You may think you're in control on the Broadway, but let me tell you who's in control. I want you to realize something. You're not in control. That devil is in control of your life. That's right. I'm here to tell you that there's a dark side to the Broadway, and on that Broadway, the devil is in control of your life. Oh, my God. I wish I had a witness here that you better realize something, that that dark side of the wide road and the broad road is the devil is in control. Good God of money. And John chapter 8, verse 44 said, ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. If you're not doing godly things on the road you're traveling, if you're not living holy, you are doing the lust of your father, who is the devil, and the lust of your father is what you do. Good God Almighty. John chapter 8, verse 44. You will do, listen, because he was a murderer from the beginning. He was the father of a lie, and the truth is not in him. Is your life pattern like Jesus? Or is your life more pattern like the devil? Let's take a real analogy. Let's look at our life. Let's get in the mirror. Let's get down to the real deal today. Is your life more like Christ? Or is your life more like the devil? Oh, my 
my God, help me, Jesus. Oh, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Listen, I want you to realize something. That sin will bring sorrow and pain. Sin brings sorrow and pain. They might not tell you in your church, but I'm here to tell you on this line, I want you to know that sin will find you out. And sin yeah, 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 will bring yeah. sorrow and pain. Yeah, uh, uh, up, we know we got the history of families that grew up around us that were caught up in life traps. Amen. Now, 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 now I say life traps, but but if we look at it in the spiritual realm, it's called generational curses. The father was in jail. Come on here, somebody. The mother was in jail. Come on. The mother running the speakeasy. Listen, the kids selling crack on the corner. The whole family was under a generational curse. Listen, they say your mama never be nothing. Your daddy never was nothing. You were born out of wedlock. You'll never be nobody. You're just a throwaway kid. You're not worth investing in. It's not worth talking to you. It's not worth spending my time for you. In fact, I'm crossing the street every time I see you, you little baby, your little evil thing, your little mean thing. But I'm here to tell you in my mind today, listen, I got the, in my mind a mother that bought an apartment for her son under age. So her son under age could sell dope out of the apartment. Are you listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth? And it's happening in your neighborhood. It's happening in my neighborhood. It's happening in New Jersey. It's happening in Philadelphia. It's happening in North Carolina. And I'm here to tell you that they will let their children do anything. Some mother shade had no business having a child. They had no business having a child. The last thing that they needed in their life was a little child that needed to have direction because the mother didn't give her no direction. Are you listening to me? As long as that baby bring in the cash to make the bench payment, Hallelujah. As long as the cash flow comes to mama, come to mama, bring it to mama. Oh, I got some mamas out there. I wish I had a witness. Somebody knows some mamas out there. Just bring the money to mama. Oh, God. You can do anything you want. Listen to family. Listen to this. Listen to this. And see the family that has been totally destroyed. Because of someone uh-huh. love for somebody to break them off something. Mm-hmm. You know, when I hear somebody say, break me off something, that immediately just gets my spirit Amen. in a bad place. Amen. My God. Uh-uh. Because break you off something. Why am I breaking you off something? Like I owe you something? And it's amazing. We got so many children that are caught up in this trap that are on these streets. Listen, they stopped going to the drug dealer. Now they just go to grandma's medicine cabinet. Oh, yeah, I'm all up in it today. And I want you to realize something, that they want them to break them off something. But, Mama, what about what you're supposed to break off to me? What about teaching me how to live godly? What about carrying me to church? What about teaching me home? You want me to break you off something, Mama, you never broke off to me what I really needed. Because if you don't broke off to me what I needed, I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in today. I wish I had somebody on this line just to say, Lord, help. Help us today. Help us Lord today. Help us Lord today. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen to this. But I want you to understand, instead of teaching and setting an example before them to be something, Amen. oh, yes, they Amen. never taught them that God has a better plan. I wish I had a better plan. Uh, uh, God got a better plan. See, God had a better plan. I'm not going to go to me, but let me keep moving. And, and the God offers a better plan to each and every individual in the whole entire earth that's on that wide road, on that broad road. See, listen to this. See, those that follow Christ will experience things like peace, John chapter 14, verse 27, my peace I leave with you. My peace, listen, my peace I will give you, not as the world giver. He said, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Why? Right, so he right. said, and he, he, and he will, listen, give you a, 
uh, uh, he would give you a perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. Are you listening to me? He'll give uh-uh. you joy. Amen. God has a better plan. Instead of you being afraid, instead of you being, listen, hunted down, instead of you being shot at, instead of you being misused, instead of you going to jail, instead of you being mistreated, instead of you being molested, instead of you being taken advantage of, God has a better plan. And God's plan includes First Peter chapter 1, verse 8. And guess what that is? That's joy, 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 joy unspeakable and full of glory. That's what I want. I want joy unspeakable and full of glory. Listen, listen, any he also offers eternal life. First John uh-huh. chapter 5 verse 13 said that these things I have written unto you, that you believe on the name of the Son of God. Let me ask you something, say, oh, yeah, yeah. if you're not believing in the Son of God, you're believing in the devil. Good God Almighty, yeah. thank yeah. you, right, Jesus, right. for revelation. That if there's yeah. only two roads. There's only two different people that's leading you down, one or the other. If you're going down the path of righteousness, or you're going down the road to hell. If you're going down the right of blessings, or you're going down the road of curses. And I'm here to tell you that he said, if you believe in the Son of God, he said that you may know. Good God Almighty, I wish I had two people on the line that say, I know, Pastor. I know, Pastor. I know that I got a turn of life because I'm going down that narrow road. I wish somebody would get the understanding. Uh-huh. This morning is that you may think everything is easy. Baby, he never said it would be easy, but God knows if you get on that road, one thing you'll always be able to say, it's worth the trip. Yes, Good God, everybody. Thank you. Yes. Listen, right, there's right. a narrow way. Amen. Listen, Amen. that eternal life, that's yes. a guarantee. You got a guarantee inside your mind that you know that heaven is going to be your home. Listen, and there's another way. There's a narrow way. Well, Pastor, what do you mean by narrow way? Listen, the narrow way means it comes to to the revelation of, like, crushing grapes. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to realize something that the grapes had to be under a press. They had to be crushed. Uh It it has to be constricted. You know, the grapes in the wine press, they're constricted, constricted. And as they push the wine press or they step on the grapes, the juice comes out. <laughs> I wish I had three people this morning that know Amen. that you got the Holy Ghost and you got the juice. Amen. Good God of my. So God has pressed yes, the Lord. juice up out of you. Come on here, somebody. And the Amen. grapes are crushed. It's the idea of distress and difficulty. Distress yeah, yeah, and difficulty. Yeah, yeah. It's the opposite of the Broadway. See, on the Broadway, uh, uh, anything goes. You can do whatever you want to do. But on this road, you can't do whatever you want to do. You got to realize something that is going to be distressful. It's going to be constricted. And it's going to be done. It's the opposite of the Broadway. Listen, you can't take all your sins on your journey on this road. Listen, you can take all your sins with you on the broad road. You can take anything you want to do on the broad road. You can live like a heathen on the broad road. You can live in sin on the broad road. But when you get on the narrow road, baby, you got to leave your baggage at the door. I wish I had somebody on the line that knows constricted. Listen, you can't take all your sin with you. You can't take all your desires with you. You can't take all that evil with you. You got to check your evil, evil at the door. Oh, my God, help me, Lord. It's the opposite of the broad road. Listen, you can't take all your sins with you on this journey. It's not enough room for them and you. It's not enough room for them and you. It's not enough room for you. You got to tell the devil, you got to go. Good God of my. Is there anybody on the line today that's got enough faith, that's got enough courage, that love the Lord enough that you remember the day that you told the devil, you can't ride no more. You can't walk with me no more. You can't hitchhike with me no more. You got to get on my back because where I'm going, it's not enough room for me and you and Jesus. And you got the go. I wish I had somebody on the line that can tell the devil. You got the go. You ain't invited. Did you just get an invitation? I don't even like you no more. Is there anybody on the line that don't like them no more? Give God the praise. Oh, hallelujah. I don't like you no more. Amen. On this road, you got to give up. All your rights. Amen. Lord. You got to give up all your rights on this road. Yes. Amen. Uh-huh. You don't make the rules on the narrow road. 
Amen. Amen. You are expected. You expect it. You expect it on this road uh-huh. to go by the rules. Come on here, somebody. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. want you to realize something that when you get on this road, on this narrow road, I want you to realize that God put all the glory of heaven and constricted it down into a baby named Jesus. Amen. Now, can you imagine all of the glory of heaven? He had to shrink it down, 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 shrink it down. See, that's how you think. You shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down. Things you used to do yesterday, you don't do no more. He shrunk it down, shrunk it down, shrunk it down. You see, to get on this narrow road, you got to leave a whole lot behind. But if God could take all heaven, shrink it down into a baby, born in a major, squeeze into a woman's womb, and come out and say, on this day, a child is born. A Savior is given. I'm here to tell you that you got to be constricted, constricted, constricted. There's some things that I can't do. There's some things I don't want to do. There's some things I don't do no more. There's some people I don't run with no more. There's some things I don't say no more. You know why? Because I've been constricted. Because on this road, I can't take all that mess with me. I wish I had a witness somebody say that. Now, if you're on this road, and you uh-huh. think you can bring all that with? Listen, you are sadly mistaken. Sadly Amen. mistaken. Amen. You're sadly mistaken. So this is something they are saying because they think that they can live like hell and go to heaven, but it don't work like that. Right. I'm here to tell you that we got to live to please the Lord, saints. We Amen. have to live to yeah, please yeah. the Lord. I know it's not preached a lot. I know they don't talk about it a lot. They don't want to talk about lifestyle because they don't care about your lifestyle. You can do anything you want as long as you got a pocketbook, as long as you got a checkbook, as long as you got a credit card. Listen, who in the world told to put ATMs in churches? My God, the devil is a lie. Listen, whatever God told it's on your heart to do. You're supposed to prepare before you get to the church. Good God Almighty, I wish I had a witness. And I'm here to tell you today that if you think you can walk on the wide road and make heaven the devil is a lie, you are sadly mistaken. Amen. You think you can live in a kind of way. Listen, I want you to realize that, that God is not going to smile down on them. Just bless Amen. them real good. But on a narrow way, we expect some difficulties. Come on here, somebody. I expect, listen, I expect this, this, this flesh body of I doesn't like confinement. Oh, no, it don't. And let me tell you how you know that this flesh body don't like confinement. All you got to do is go outside, go to the grocery store. You see everybody got everything hanging out everywhere. It just looked like somebody just uh, got rid of the, got rid of the bras and got rid of the underwear and got rid of the clothes. And they just, listen, they'll be walking around naked after a while because this Black body want somebody to see it. They want somebody to look at it. I seen a girl yesterday. She was standing on the corner. Me and my wife was riding by. She was at the Cheesecake Factory. She had her legs folded and her butt toward the street, and she had it bent over. And I said, what in the world going on here? Because the flesh body wants to be seen. Come on here, somebody. Y'all don't hear me. But when you're holy, when you're righteous, when you love the Lord, I wish I had some women on here that saved it for somebody who deserves to see it. Oh, I know you don't like it, but it ain't for everybody. And if it ain't for everybody, I wish you'll cover it up. I wish you'll cover it up. I wish you'll cover it up. Is anybody here want to cover something up? Oh, God. Yes, yes. Oh, Lord. Amen. This, this flesh body, it don't like rules. Mm-hmm. This flesh body, it, it don't like to do what's right. No, it don't. Nobody ever said that the Christian life was going to be easy. We live se- a separate life from the world. But living for God brings special benefits. See, that's what I love about it. See, living for God brings special benefits. Anybody receiving some special benefits around here? I wish I had somebody that know that the blessings of the Lord will make you rich and add no sorrow to it. Is there anybody around here receiving some blessings from benefits from the Lord Jesus Christ? I dare you to clap your hands and say hallelujah right now. 
blessed is in your life. And hallelujah, I wish somebody clap your hands. Say my blessing is on the way. Hallelujah. Because I'm on the narrow road. 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 Somebody say, I'm on the narrow road. Pastor, I'm on the narrow road. Thank you. you got oh, some yeah. things that's going to be benefits in life that can't be obtained any other way but living Amen. holy for God. Amen. You cannot Amen. receive any benefits on this road unless you make up your mind to live holy Amen. for God. Oh, yeah. Amen. When you live for God, Amen. and Pastor, how do I know if I'm living for God? You're living in a way that honors him. Amen. Mm-hmm. That means that your prayer life is in order. Mm-hmm. That means that you read the word. That means that right here, this number you called, we're on here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, from about quarter to nine to quarter after nine with a daily word called Moments with the Messiah. The, the, listen, the prayer words are on here at 8.30 praying, and from what I hear, they be praying on after 9.15. Because guess what? You're doing things that honor God. Amen. Listen, on Sunday morning, you got two services. You got Sunday school at 10.30, Regular service at 11 30, and you got a Tuesday night Bible study. If you're attending you. all of these things, baby, let me tell you something. You bought your Amen. ticket to the narrow road. <laughs> Good God, I'm not going to put somebody on the narrow road and say amen today. Listen, listen, listen. I want you to know somebody say And somebody say, well, Pastor, uh, 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 I'm living this life, and and, and I realize something that if anything good happens to me, it's because of God. So when somebody look at you and they ask you, why are you walking like that? Why are you talking like that? Why are you living like that? Just look at them and say, it's the God in me. I didn't get here on my own. It's the God in me. There's something inside me that wants to say amen. Something inside me that wants to live, live holy. Something inside Amen. me, there's a change you, that has you. happened in my life, and this the God in me. That's why I do what I want to do. That's why I follow God like this. That's why I love him like I do. Yeah. And who the hell ever thought it would have been me? Did you ever think it would be you? Is anybody like totally you know, surprised? I look in the mirror, I say, who is wrong with this person that I'm looking at? Because I used to be on the wide road, but now I'm on the narrow road. And I've been on this road long enough to know that I love him with all my heart. I choose to love the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. I'm I'm here to tell you, as for me and my house, I yes. will pray now. Come on, somebody give him a little bit of blessing. Amen. It brings blessings and power into my life. It brought blessings and power. Listen, Second Chronicles 10, 14 says, When my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways. He said, I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and i heal their land. When you start Amen. calling on God, Amen. he starts fixing you. Amen. When you start, oh, my God, I wish I had a witness on the line. When I called on God, he didn't try to fix my sister. He didn't fix my brother. He didn't fix my cousin. When he started fixing, he started fixing me. Good God. And then it's not even a lot of things. And let me tell you something, how I know that he really worked in my life, how I know that he really made a change. Because Hebrews chapter 11, verse 25 said that Moses would rather suffer the affliction with the people of God rather than to enjoy the presence of sin for a season. Amen. Good God Almighty. Uh, uh, I took the alternative. Is anybody on the line today that you would rather suffer with God than to have sin for a season? I wish I had three people on the line that just say I took the alternative. Yes, I took the alternative. I'm on the alternative road. I'm on the alternative road. I'm on the other road. I'm not on that side. I ain't walking on that side. I don't even mess with people on that side. I made up my mind. I'm going to stay, and I'm going to take the alternative. Because life is all about choice. It's all about choice. That's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. You don't want me to start that sermon. That might be next week. But life is all about choice. Listen, God offers. God offers a far better life for every person, from every perspective. God offers a far better life for everybody from every perspective. If uh-huh. you're going to be his disciple, 
The Bible mm-hmm. says you got to pick up your cross and follow him. Uh-huh. You got to pick it up and follow him. Amen. Yeah. Obedience to God sometimes is tough. I'm not going to tell you on the lie. Mm-hmm. You know, being obedient to God, I'm just going to keep it on the real. Sometimes, let me tell you something, it ain't easy. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you something. I know that it ain't easy, but let me tell you something else I know in the back of my mind. It's worth it. I know Amen. it's worth it. See, you got to realize something. I balance out my thoughts. Amen. I realized something that what did I get before when I was on the wide road? I didn't get nothing for heartache. I didn't get nothing for pain. I didn't get nothing but abuse. I didn't get nothing for difficulties. I didn't get, listen, I got a bullet in my back. I got people hating me. I got people shooting at me. I, listen, I got so much on that other road that I don't never want to turn back. I wish I had somebody on this line that was on the wide road that made up their mind. I ain't never going back. If I don't never see a speck of pebble on the wide road, I ain't missing nothing. And I wish I could get somebody to say, you ain't missing nothing because it ain't nothing there but nothing but pain, heartache, and tears. That's all it's on. Listen, it's joy and happiness for a minute. It's happy for a minute because I like, like, got a lot of friends over there on that road. Some of y'all, yeah, yeah. Some of y'all, yeah. Some of y'all got some friends in some low places. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, all yeah, right. you know some people over there on that road, don't you? I know you're sitting there uh-huh, thinking right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, Pastor, you're right. Uh-huh. And you got to realize something. Amen. You got to realize something. I made up my mind to walk with him and not walk with them. Oh, my God, help it you. I made up my mind to walk with him and not walk with them. I wish I had somebody had a made up my mind. Because the road leads to something. Every road, these roads lead to something. Are you listening to me? But the one you choose is the one that's eternal for you. The one you choose is the road that is eternal for you. If you choose a wide road, hey, that's your choice. But you got to realize something. You're going to get what you're looking for. Yes. You're going to get what you're looking for. Amen. Jesus said the broad Amen. way leads to destruction. Yes. Yes. That's yes. what that, I told you. Yes. Then I just tell you going to lead you somewhere. That yes. broad road is going to lead you to destruction. But this word means law. Mm. See, that broad word, Amen. that broad road leads to destruction. And the word destruction mm. in the languages means law. Yes. Isn't that something? You're going to lose some things that you wish you held on to. Keep on walking down that road. Listen, you are going to be totally, absolutely ruined one day if you stay on that wide road. It's a place called hell. Are you listening to me? There is a place called hell. And hell is what he's talking about when he talks about this loss and talks about destruction. Listen, if you choose that broad way, you will go to hell. If you choose the broad way, you will go to hell. If you don't send your tithe, if you don't send a love offering, if you don't put a dime in a basket, listen, if you're going to leave and don't come back, just take this with you. Remember I said this, if you're on the wide road, you're going to hell. I see you, I see you when I see you, because it might be the last time I see you. So if you don't like what I'm saying, and you're on that wide road, and you're on that broad road, and you done got mad, and you're Get ready, hang up the phone. Just take that with you. You're going to hell if you stay on that road. Listen, remember me by that statement right there. I won't take it back. I won't turn around. I won't bite my lip. I won't act like I didn't say it. I said it. I meant it. And I'm here to represent it. If you stay on the wide road, you're going to hell. Did you hear that? Amen. Yes. You heard it? Yes. I don't want you to miss it. Uh, what are you talking about there? You're going to hell if you're on the broad road. Amen. Amen. Because see, in so many of these sermons that come in your spirit, Amen. they go out your spirit, they so mm-hmm. wishy washy, just mm-hmm. a little snob word, get a little marshmallow mm-hmm. sermon, a little sermon there, it don't mean mm-hmm. nothing. You go in one ear, you can go back on the broad road and party tonight. You can go back on the broad road and smoke your joint. You can go back on the broad road and get you a hit of liquor. You can get back on the broad road and go sleep with JoJo. You know he's waiting on you right now. You can get right in the bed with him. But let me tell you something, baby. When you get off this phone today, I want you to remember that if you go back to JoJo, come on here, somebody. Lord have mercy. If you go back and get your little hair, if you go back, 
Don't act like I didn't tell you that girl, listen to me, sir. I don't mean no harm. If you stay on the broad road, you are going to hell. Make sure you get this straight. Get it straight. Two minutes a day. I'll head it that way. Oh, my God. You got some people who want, want, you want to hitchhike. <laughs> they going that way. Where you going? I'm going on the broad road. They got their thumb out. Hey, can you pick me up? You know, you know what? No, I can't pick you up. I'm not going in that direction. Amen. You can't ride in my car. Amen. I can't take you there. And you know why I can't take you there? Because I don't want to know what the end of that road leads to. Amen. If the broad road is where the story ends, let me tell you some things you need to realize by staying on that road. Mm-hmm. Mark 9 and 23 said, it's an unquenchable fire there. It's nothing but uh, memory. Remorse, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. unsatisfied thirst, frustration, mm-hmm. and anger, mm-hmm. unspeakable pain and misery, mm-hmm. wait, eternal wait. separation. Mm-hmm. And at the end, let me tell you something. It will be the end of mercy in your life. Mm-hmm. Amen. Now, 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 you know that right there. Mm-hmm kind of goes right down into your spirit to a place where you know you don't want mercy to stop. Because let me tell you something, Mm. where there's no mercy, there's eternal pain. Uh And the sad part Mm. about it, that's eternally real, and that's Mm. eternally awful. That's eternally Mm. real and eternally Mm. awful. Mm. No matter what people think, hell Uh is about to get real for a whole lot of people. Amen. Go ahead, man. Too God. many people is dying left and right. Hell is about to get real. Yeah, it's about to get real. Amen. It's about to be so real. Mm. And this is the reason why God has called true men of God to preach a Amen. true message to true Amen. people that want to be saved. Amen. Because Amen. if you don't get this understanding mm-hmm. on this wide road of do what you want, live like mm-hmm. you want, listen, mm-hmm. I don't have to answer to nobody but me. How many of y'all got children that you can't even talk to no more? You can't mm-hmm. talk to them. You try to talk mm-hmm. to them. You try to tell them what's right. They don't want to hear. You know why you don't want to hear? Because there's a whole lot of noise on the wide road. You better listen to what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you today yeah. that you better take the time. Let them know it's about to get real. It's Amen. about to get real. Listen, for so many today, but saints, thank God there's a heaven. Oh, my God, I wish I had two people to clap their hands. I thank God it's a heaven. Thank God it's a heaven. Thank God it's a heaven. The road I want to take is a narrow road. I wish I had two people just say the narrow road. The narrow road. The narrow road. Can y'all say that? The narrow road. The narrow road. The narrow road. I want the narrow road. The skinny road. That's what I want. I want the road so skinny you have to walk single file. <laughs> Loud air, but I wish they had a witness on here. Amen. I like the road so skinny, you got to walk Amen. single file. You remember when you was a little Amen. kid and they used to take you on trips to the school and, and you just couldn't run anywhere you want? Because, see, if you run anywhere you want, you're going to get lost. Somebody might kidnap you, somebody might steal you, you might not make it home that night. But I'm talking to the children that was walking in single file, that was holding each other's hands, that was right there by the teacher, right there by the principal. I'm talking about all the children that went through the museum, that went through the art gallery, but made it home. Why did you make it home? Because you stayed on the narrow road. And I'm here to tell you today, if you stay on the narrow road, baby, you're going to make it home. Somebody give God a hallelujah. Somebody give us a praise. If you stay on the road, you're going to make it home. Good God. Thank you. If hell is a place of sorrow and pain, then heaven mm. is a place of joy and peace and rest. Amen. Unspeakable beauty, good God of might and glory. Amen. Everything that hell isn't, listen to Amen. Pastor, everything that hell isn't, heaven is. Amen. Ain't that Amen. good? Ain't Amen. Good. Everything that hell ain't, heaven is. Amen. Oh, God. Oh, my Bible tells me in Revelation chapter 21, it's no sin there. 
It's no night there. It's no curse there. Revelation 22 right, said right. that the eternal, I'll be eternal with God and Jesus in that glorious city. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. This is beyond description. Man can't even comprehend the good things that God has in store for those that love him. Do you love him today? Do you love him today? Do you love him? Oh, you ain't acting like you love him. I need to hear you say you love him. Glory to God. I I love the Lord. And if love the Lord is wrong, I ain't never going to be right. I love the Lord. Can you shout, I love the Lord. Don't you? Now I understand the narrow road is more costly. The narrow road is more costly down here. I want all our visitors to the line. I want you to realize something. You're talking to a pastor that understands what compassion is. Because God has been good to me. I haven't always been on the narrow road. I am what you call a transplant from the wide road to the narrow road. I thought that I would be on that wide road forever. But I want to tell somebody who may be on this line for the first time, baby, let me tell you something. God has an exit for you. It's not a detour. See, too many people get in churches where they just offer detours. Now, you come in the right way, but you be in church for a while the right way. Then you find out the pastor going with one of the sisters. Then you find out somebody messing with the money. You find out somebody ain't this. You find out somebody else. And then all of a sudden, see, you can get on the right road. But see, when you get to churches that ain't right, that's why I try to keep God's people always on the real. Because when you're on the real, you know the difference between what's real and what's fake. Are you listening to me tonight? I want to make sure you're listening to me. And I want to tell you something. This is not a ministry where you come in and you come in straight, but we give you a detour. Baby, there's no detour. Amen. The Amen. only Amen. thing you got in this ministry is an exit. Amen. And that exit, listen, detours don't do nothing but lead you back to the same path. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking Amen. about. I wish I had somebody Amen. that just drove around Philadelphia or drove Amen. around North Carolina or drove around Amen. Memphis, Tennessee or drove around Amen. Delaware or drove around Maryland and you was in your car. Amen. Have you ever been to a detour? Well, you get off on a detour and the detour wound you around down to extra streets and cross the creek and, and back over the lake, but it puts you right back in the direction you go. But baby, today, I'm telling you, there's an exit. Good God Almighty that you can go down and it goes a whole different way. Somebody say thank you, Jesus, for the exit. Not a detour. Not a detour. Hallelujah, God. God gave me an exit. I can get off that road. I didn't have to turn back. And let me tell you something. The road may be long. The road may be weary. But he said, don't be weary of well doing. He said, because if you just continue in faith, Dick, God, I'm not. Hallelujah. I'm telling you that if you need some gas, let me tell you how you get on the road, how you get in your car, and you get some gas. Let me break explain something to you. I want you to realize something. In this world, money is the currency of the world. Cash money. Credit card is the currency of this world. But in heaven, faith is the currency of heaven. When you're on the earth, you got to have money to do what you need to do and go where you need to go. But baby, if you want to go anywhere in heaven, you got to get the currency that heaven uses, and the currency from heaven is called faith. Good God of mine. And the Bible said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. But my Bible tells me that we got to walk by faith and not by sight. Is anybody on this line? If you want to know how to stay on the narrow road, you got to have some faith, because Faith is the currency of heaven. And if you want to travel, if you want to make it, if you want to be there, you got to have some faith. It takes some faith to stay on this road. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Has anybody got faith? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, let me say, all right. Let, 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 let me finish this thing up because I tell you, I got to go. Good God of my. Listen to that. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. The narrow road is more costly down here. You understand? I realize that. Mm-hmm. The narrow road is more costly down here. Mm-hmm. But it's worth the price for a true child of God. 
Amen. You know, I think of a scripture in the Old Testament say you've been weighed in the balance, mm-hmm. but you've been mm-hmm. found wanting. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. want God to weigh me, and mm-hmm. I come up short. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Amen. Yeah. So I have got to the point in my life mm-hmm. where it's a word that I use now that I didn't use so much before I got saved. And you know what mm-hmm. that word is? It's real simple because I don't like to get so deep that you can't understand a sermon. I like to put it where the goats can get it. The yeah. word that I use now that I didn't used to use so much is so what? <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. So what if I'm out of step with the world? So what if I'm misunderstood? So what if we don't have everything that somebody else has? So what if I can't dress like you? So what if I don't have what you have? So what if I can't do this and I can't go there and I can't do this and that? Let me tell you something. My answer is so what? Because let me tell you something. One thing I got, I got Jesus. Good God Almighty. And if I got Jesus, it don't matter what nobody thinks, what nobody says. And my answer to you is, so what if I don't have it? So what if I don't do it? So what if I don't try to be what you want me to be? And I can say, so what? Because I know what he's done for me. Good God, I don't know who I'm talking to. Listen, the reason why I can say, so what? Even though you might be laughing at me, even though you might be putting me down, even though you might be, listen, saying that I ain't this and I ain't that, I can still say, so what? You know why? Because I know what he's done for me. Is there anybody on this line that know what Jesus has done for me? It don't matter. That's why I can say, so what? God has been good. We are born on the wild road. It's easy to stay the course, but we grow it. Listen, it's, listen, we're born on that wild road, saints. We're Amen. born on every, we're born in sin. I wish I had a Bible reader here today. We're born in sin, shaped in iniquity. Isn't that what the Bible says? Listen, Amen. we're born on the wide road. It's easy to say, to stay the course. But Amen. we grow. Every child learns. Listen, we're Amen. born on that wide road. Y'all listen to me. Listen, to me. listen real good. We're born on the wide road, each and every one of you. You all are born in sin, shaped in iniquity. David said, in sin did my mother conceive me. That's right. So each and every one of you are born in sin. Amen. The mm-hmm. sin, listen, came from Adam and Eve. It wasn't even right. your fault. But well, you're yeah. born in it. Now watch this. So you're born on the wide road of sin. That's where you're born. Amen. And it's easy to stay on that road mm-hmm. because that's what you're accustomed to. Mm-hmm. But yes, you got to right. realize something. As a child, you begin to grow. Amen. Right. And how many of y'all know that every child, no matter who you are, you get to the point in your life where you know right or wrong. That's right. Oh, come on, teach a little bit, Pastor. Every child gets to the point in life where you know right or wrong. And at that time, a child chooses to do evil, evil, or good. At that time, a child will either choose to do evil or to do good. Now, that's where... You choose a gate. Oh, my God, let me teach this thing. Let me go back and read this thing, y'all. Oh, my God, look at what he says here. Enter Mm -hmm. in by the narrow gate. Mm -hmm. He said, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. When you get to the point where you can be able to choose right or wrong, that's when you're choosing your gate. Amen. Oh, you might as well let me teach. You might as well say, come on, Pastor. Listen, Amen. let me see. That's when you choose your gate. It opens to your course that you choose to take in life. Mm-hmm. And you know where the road we're in. Nobody on the wide road to destruction can tell God, I didn't know it was leading to hell. You're a liar. Amen. You're a liar. Amen. You're a liar. Amen. No, 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 no. It's about to get real. So, 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 so you can't tell God, you know, listen, you, when that gate opens, you know exactly where that gate is leading. Amen. Now, now listen to this. And, 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 and it's real there. He said, and somebody got to put your phone on mute. You're talking on me. Watch this. And real, there is many more who will be in hell than will be in heaven. Amen. Did you hear what I said? There'll be more people in hell then they'll be in heaven. Yes, it will. But today God says, 
that you have the ability to change lanes. Yes, Are you listening to Pastor E? I want to make sure you hear me. God has given you the opportunity today to change lanes, to go through, to go through that narrow gate. That narrow gate is before you today because you got the opportunity to make a choice. Come through the straight gate. Come through the straight gate. Listen, cause listen, to go through it means that you got a made up mind that you're gonna turn away from the world's ways. Amen. That Amen. narrow way is hope, is wide, is broad, mm-hmm. <laughs> but the broad way is death. Mm-hmm. It's an open gate. It offers life to all that choose to come in. Listen to that pastor. It promises heaven. Somebody got to put the phone on mute. Please. It promises heaven. But it's a small gate. You have to leave your sins outside. Amen. You can't come in the gate with your sins. Your sins won't fit through it with you. No matter how hard you try to make it in, your sin can't fit in there with you. Amen. No matter how hard you try to squeeze it, it ain't going to work. Outside that gate, you can't bring your junk with you. Who is that? Please put your phone on him. Who is that? Yes. 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 You Amen. can't bring your junk with you. Amen. Amen. No, you've been That's fooling right. only yourself. Mm-hmm. Because you've been thinking that you're going to make it and you're not going to make it. Amen. Mm-hmm. Because Amen. deep down inside, you can't fit into heaven with all that sin. Amen. You have to make Amen. a conscious decision today. Right. Amen. He's the only way to truth and the light. <laughs> you can't hang on to the world. And hold Amen. on to him. Amen. You can't hold on to the world Amen. and hold on to him too. Amen. Nothing Amen. in my hand I bring, but simply to him I cling. Amen. The word said few will find it. And you know why few are going to find it? Let me tell you why. Because we've gotten to the point that people come to church to get a serenade. People come to church. Amen get wooed. People come to mm-hmm. church to get happy. But you yeah. don't come to church to get the word. To change the right. Right. Mm-hmm. And I pray today mm-hmm. I pray today that you understand this before I close out this sermon. I'm almost done. The word said that few will find it. And you know mm-hmm. why? You know why it says few people are going to find it? Mother loves it because they're really not looking for it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. They really ain't looking Thank for it. You. If you are in church and you're not serious enough with God to leave that sinful baggage outside the door, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you're in church and you you don't mind doing things that you know God is not pleased with, Mm -hmm. if you're in church and maybe you're in a church where you hide, some people Mm -hmm. go to church to hide, but some Mm -hmm. people come to church to be alive. Mm -hmm. And I pray today. That the people that are on this line, you came to be alive. Mm-hmm. That after mm-hmm. I hang up this phone and go on with my life and go on down the road, that this message stays with you in your heart. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. I hear so many people say, well, Pastor, I'm at a crossroad. My friend, you're yeah. not at a crossroad. It's you're at a broad road. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Jesus. Amen. You're Amen. not on a crossroad. You're not at a crossroad, my friend. 
Mm. You're moving down a road that you don't even realize that you're on. Mm. That's the devil telling you that you're in between decisions. I don't know whether to join church. I don't know whether to get saved. I don't know what I should do. Let me tell you something. The only reason why you don't know what you want to do is because you don't want to do it. Amen. Amen. Oh, God. When you make up your mind. Amen. For God, I'll live. For God, I'll die. You know, I see people, they say, well, Pastor, I'm thinking about what church to join. The church is the church that the word comes alive in your spirit. Yes. Right. Your church right. is a church where the word makes a difference. Amen. The church that you belong to is the church that speaks into your life, and you realize that God is talking to you through the pastor. Amen. The church that you belong to is the church where you get convicted about your life and you want to live holy. That's how you know that you are in the right place. It's not hard. Amen. You're not at a crossroad. You're at a broad road. Yes. And as soon as you come to the realization that you're on a broad road, and why are you on that broad road? Because some of us want to continue in sin. Amen. 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 Some of us want to live like we want to live. Mm-hmm. Some of us don't want to live holy. Some of us mm-hmm. want to just look holy but not live holy. Yes. You know what y'all don't like? Somebody ain't gonna like it. You wanna look holy but you don't wanna live holy. You wanna look it but you don't wanna live it. You wanna look it but you don't wanna live it. But let me tell you something. That's why you're on the Broadway. Amen. Thank you. It's not that you don't want to cross the street. Mm. The reason why you're sitting there undecided, you're not at a crossroad, my friend. You're on the broad road. And when you're on the broad road, everybody else is doing it. Everybody else is going that way. Everybody's having a good time. Listen, everybody's doing what they want to do. It feels good. It feels good. It feels good over here. I can still play what I want to play, do what I want to do, live like I want to live. And to be honest with you, I can see you over here on the narrow road, but see, I keep telling myself, I ain't ready yet. I keep telling myself, I'm at a crossroad. I keep telling myself that it's not my time. No, I want you to realize something. You are on one or two roads. You said it's either one or the other. You're on one of these roads. Amen. Amen. So you're not on a crossroad. There's no Amen. such thing as a crossroad, say. <laughs> it's either a broad way or a narrow way. Amen. Amen. And I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I feel in my spirit that somebody knows right now that you've been deceived by the devil. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. The devil has deceived you and to think it that you're at a crossroad. Mm-hmm. Prophesize that thing, Pastor. Prophesize. But the devil yeah, has yeah. deceived you into thinking that you're on a crossroad. But I've told you that you're not leading yourself. Mm-hmm. My Lord. Amen. You know what, Lord have mercy. I don't even, you know what, my God, y'all. You know what, I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. I don't know what this done turned into. I want you to realize something that you've been deceived. You've been lied to. Yes. You've been fooling yourself. You've been pretending like you're making your own choices. You're making your own decisions. But my Bible tells me that if you're on the wide road, on the broad road, that the devil is the head of the wide road. My Lord, amen. Amen. And if you don't know that you're being led, I'm telling you that you are being led by Satan himself. Because he lets you think that you're all right and put the crossroad instead of the broad road. Because he knows if you ever get this sermon in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14, you will realize that there's no such thing as a crossroad. That's That's right. right. And at this time in your life, yeah. choose you this day who you're going to serve. Amen. Because you're not going to get out this line and go take your shower and go have your breakfast and go out to Tiffany's and have some tea. You're not going to be able to do that and don't know what road you're on. 
Amen. 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 Oh, no, 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 not today. You will not go shopping at the mall. You will not take your credit card and go have a good time. You will not get off this line and tiptoe through the tulips. No, not today. Today, you're going to know what road you're on. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear you. And you got Thank a decision you, to make. Right. You got a decision to make. Thank you, Lord. And the Bible Amen. says, choose you this day. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Saints, let me Amen. tell y'all something. I may be done, but the Holy Ghost ain't done with you. Amen. He ain't done with you. Amen. Somebody, you, somebody ain't even gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Cause you don't get the realization you really on the wide road, and you didn't even know you was on it. Mm-hmm. You thought you was making your own. No, 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 baby. No, no. Mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. You got to realize something. He is the father of a lie, and the truth ain't in him. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, and and I know you stand to yourself. Well, Pastor, you know what is wrong with this guy? Listen, I love you enough to tell you the truth, and I don't want you Amen. to get comfortable over there on that wide road. That's why. Amen. I want to see you. I am personally concerned about your eternal resting place. Did Thank you hear me? Amen. I didn't ask for your money. I didn't ask you to send no offering. I didn't even ask you. Look, I don't even know who you are. I don't even know who on this line. Amen. But I can Amen. tell you one person that's on this line, and his name is the Holy Ghost. Oh, and man. I'm here to tell you that he's in my house, he's in your house, he's in every one of your house right now. And you know what he's doing? He's searching all through your house. He's searching your heart. He's searching your mind. He's searching your thoughts. He's searching your actions. He's just searching and searching and searching and searching and searching. And searching. He's been searching just waiting on the day when I preach this message so he can let you know that there's an accident. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. So today, your choice is are you going to take the exit or not? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because you know where you are. Examine yourself. Thank you, Jesus. See if you're in this. Examine yourself. Amen. Amen. See, you got to realize I'm a man just like you. I got to examine myself. Maybe maybe you thought I was some deep philosophical dude. Let me tell you something. I'm nothing but recycled garbage. I know who I am. You see? Yeah. Yeah. I got to examine myself. Yeah. So I'm just an ordinary man that, that serves an extraordinary God. I know yeah. where I am. Yeah. I got to yeah. die daily. I got to die daily to myself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I got to look in the mirror every day and say, boy, you better get your ass together. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's the truth. Just I wake up in the morning and say, boy, you got to do better than this. Me too, man. I say, God, take me by the hand. Lead me. Guide me. Lord, just don't yes. let me that road. Just oh, keep me away from that highway. I don't want to take that exit. Amen. Because the sad part about people that's on the Broadway, they don't realize. That's right. When the red light going to flash. My Amen. God. Mm-hmm. They don't know it's a red light on that road that they can't see until it turns red. Mm -hmm. They on that road, they think all everything is go, 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 Mm -hmm. go. But there's a red light. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when that red light flash, ain't nothing the devil can do about it. Your soul belongs to God. That's right. Mm -hmm. And when that red light turns, and that's the end of you, when you stop, every you you bow. And every mouth shall confess that Jesus is Lord, and you have to give an account yes. of your yes. life. Amen. 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 So yes. whoever I'm talking to, wherever you are, whether you're in New York, Mississippi, Tennessee, New Jersey, mm-hmm. Delaware, I want you to realize something. God is talking to you. Yes. You yes. personally. Yes. Personally talking to you. Yes. Now that you know where you're at, mm-hmm. what you going to do about it? Amen. What you going to do about it? Amen. Well, I'm going to pray this prayer. Amen. Somebody on this line that may want to get saved, you, you can call me later. You just pray the prayer. I know it's a sovereign reality that is riding through the airwaves on this sermon today that may be visiting everybody's house and going into everybody's ear. Mm-hmm. I know that the Holy Ghost is moving like you could not even imagine because you're saying to yourself, mm-hmm. I in the world, could this come real like this through the phone? 
Let me tell you something. God is everywhere at the same time, baby. Yes, Lord. Let me tell you something. He wants to do the same he's thing for you done. that he's mm-hmm. done for everybody else. He wants you to save. Save God. And Amen. holy. Amen. And he said, that's your reasonable service. Let me tell you something. You don't owe the devil nothing. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Baby, I, I, I don't want to go. In, in case I hold you too long, let me just tell you something. The devil ain't never done you no favor. Amen. Amen. You don't owe him nothing. Amen. And let me tell you something. Everything you got from God, I want you to know it's on credit. Amen. Amen. And I want you to know that everything that the devil is doing in your life is on debit. Amen. <laughs> oh my God! I gotta lead this down. You gotta help me lead this down, Lord. Now I don't want so much, Lord. I'm, I'm telling you that everything that God is doing in your life is on credit, baby. You got a guarantee. It's a guarantee that you're gonna be all right. It's a guarantee that you're gonna spend eternity with God. But everything with the devil is on debit. You're going to swipe your car with him. You're going to find out one day it's going to be denied. My God. Oh, Lord. So today, I want to know, did you hear me? How what yes. did you hear? Did you hear the words that came out of my mouth? Yeah. Whoa. Make sure that you got it, baby. Make sure that you heard it today. Yeah, you can tell your pastor what road you on, Pastor. Because there's only two. <laughs> Amen. Narrow road. Amen. Narrow road. Oh, well. Amen. Narrow road. Amen. What a broad road. Yeah. Let's go to God in prayer. Amen. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I pray you'll touch the heart of somebody that's on the line today, God. I don't know where they're at, what they're going through. I'm not sure, God, but I'm asking you, please, to touch their heart and lead them in the right direction to that narrow road. God, I realize on the narrow road, it's the road less traveled. It's the road that it ain't a whole lot of thrills and a whole lot of circus rides, and it ain't no clowns on this road. It's just straight, no chasing. But God, his destination is sure. It doesn't wind around to the right. It doesn't wind to the left. We don't have to worry about getting lost on the narrow road. Because the people that's on the wide road is already lost. Amen. So, God, we ask you in the name of Jesus that you'll touch our hearts. And just these two scriptures with so much that's so pregnant, so much revelation, and so much truth that it will just take hold to somebody's heart today. Yes. And that they will think about a change or yes. tell somebody love about the message or go to our YouTube page and listen to the sermon again. Listen, listen yes. to the sermon Hit the like button. Send it mm. to somebody else. Say, go to Magnify Philadelphia, PHS. Mm. Listen to the sermon today. Listen to the word that God sent through this man right here. Mm. Mm. Because mm. I Thank love you, Lord. and you're going the wrong road. You need to hear this. Mm. Thank you, Lord. To help you. Mm. To see that you're not leading yourself, but it's the devil leading you. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. 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 Dear Lord, if there's somebody need to be saved, I pray they pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I repent of my sin. I ask you to have mercy on my soul. And God, I give you my whole life, and I accept Jesus into my life. Please, God, I repent for the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Lord, I repent in thought and word and deed. But please just purge me with his help. And I shall be clean. If you wash me, I'll be white as snow. But God, let me have your spirit now. Let it rest in the and abide in me. Somebody else on the line today, you you may want to join the church. You may be thinking about it. You say, well, you know what? When these doors open, I'm going to be the first person that passed the seat. Don't worry about me seeing you. Make sure God sees you. I'm not not that impressive. There's nothing special about me. I'm not, you know, that handsome and wonderful that you need to see me. I'm not wonderful at all. Just make sure that when you show up in these ministries, when we open back up, that you're there for the right reason because you want Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 
And if you're there for that reason, guess what? You're just like me. I'm there for the same reason. We're in the same boat. We're on the same road. We're on the same path. And let me tell you something. We're going to be getting getting down with Jesus. My God. We're going to be getting truth. We're going to be growing. We're going to be making a difference in this world for the Lord Jesus Christ. We may have some people that's listening for the first time. Let me encourage you to know that, listen, I'm not a guy that has anything but Jesus. I'm not asking you for anything. I didn't come to ask you for anything. But what I ask you to do is please listen to the voice of Christ in your spirit. Listen to him tell you to go to the right hand or left. Listen, don't give up. Amen. Keep coming. Keep listening. Listen, you got the number. I'm here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from quarter to nine to nine fifteen. The, the prayer words are here from eight thirty. Join us in the morning for the breakfast club. They start on Monday. And I'm not there on Monday, but they start on Monday. The Breakfast Club starts on Monday. It's called Moments with the Messiah. Believe me, you're going to love it. Why don't you tune into our Tuesday night Bible study? At 7 o'clock, the same line, no effort. You got the number. Why not use it? What are you doing? Amen. Amen. You might as well. Join in our church family. Begin to receive the word on a daily basis and let it make changes in your life. Listen, the word will do things that you can't do yourself. Trust God. Yes, Lord. That's what yes, he did with will. me. I came to him just like I was, and look what God did with me. Never thought I'd be a preacher. Yes. And guess what? Sometimes, to be honest with you, I'm just still getting over the fact that he saved me. That's my heart. That's who I am. It's not about me. It's about you and your relationship mm-hmm. to God. And I want to show you how to have a close relationship with Him. Amen. If you allow me, I promise you, I never want to let you down. I don't live like that. I don't want to let anybody down ever. Amen. Amen. So God be the glory for all the great things that He has done today. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 Now, I want you to take Amen. Amen. I want to pray for everybody today. Dear Lord, mm-hmm. Heavenly Father, and I'm praying for everything at one time because i got to go. Dear Lord, I ask you to cover everybody that's here today. Touch every heart, every mind. Whatever needs is in their heart and mind, I pray that you'll bring it to fruition and that you'll fix it for them, God. I pray that if anybody's sick, they'll be healed. I pray if anybody's struggling, the struggle will be over. I pray that somebody that needs finance, their finances will change in their lives as soon as they get on that right road and walk that walk. I pray in Jesus' name, God, that you open up the world of blessings that you have in store for them today. I pray that it will rain down on them, God, that it will saturate their spirit. I pray that the glory of God has touched their heart today and gave them a desire. Maybe somebody needs to come back to church. They've been in church a long time, but they got this word on the line today, and they're saying to myself, man, this is what I needed. This is what I want. God, thank you so much. Well, guess what? Hang with us. Stay with us, man. Join us. Be a part of our family. Because guess what? You know what we're going to tell you? We're going to say, welcome home. Welcome home. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Puerto Rican, Chinese. We don't care. Listen, heaven got many colors. And guess what? So is our church. We want you. We need you. Come and be a part. Come and be a part. Let us show you what real love is like. Amen. Amen. And I promise Amen. you, we love this church. Because guess Amen. what? The church is in us. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. I want to say this, and I'm going to ready. Just close out the line today. I pray that every prayer that was prayed, every need be met, and that God will see you through it all. Amen. Thank you. Do it all. Amen. Do it all. Amen. Let's raise both hands for the blessing. Amen. First of all, I just want to thank God for 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 for, for our uh, you know for our ministry. You know, and, 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 and just the thank things that we're doing, we magnify him, PHL. I want to thank Mike, who keeps our YouTube going. You know, he's just a just a, a blessing to this ministry. He's a technician beyond compare. You know, saints, if you want to hear, listen, hit that, magnify him, PHL. That's all our churches together. That's Christ Community Church in Oxford. Listen, if you're in the Oxford area, let me tell you something. It's right there on Granville Street. Amen. I want you to realize something. It's a blessing. Great big sign. We ain't there yet. But when we get there, it's 112 Granville Street. And believe me, if you're riding with us, you'll know when the bus is pulling up. Amen. Listen, yeah. if you're in Philadelphia, you know we meet at the Airport Hilton in the Liberty Room. Amen. At the Airport Hilton. Listen, you don't want to miss that because there's nothing but anointing and blessings going down everywhere. I want to thank God for all our deacons, all our ministers. All our leadership. Hey, keep praying for Pastor Harden, his wife. Amen. The 
Pastor of our North Carolina Church. Hey, we love you, Pastor Hart. Thank you for all you're doing. I also want to pray for Mr. Walton and his wife and his family. May God continue to keep them, keep Mr. Chesley, keep all of you, all of our leadership. Amen. And keep everyone that just takes a little time to spend with an ordinary guy like me, Pastor E. That's the little E. Amen. So I can say to Jesus. I love you all. God bless Amen. you with all my heart. Amen. Let's close out. Both hands up for the blessing. May the blessings of the Lord make you rich and add no sorrow to you. May be blessed in the house, blessed in the field, blessed coming in, blessed coming out. May everything you touch you possess for the glory of God. I'm going to ask everybody to please pray for me and my wife today that God will give us favor in this move that we're trying to make. So just pray. Listen, I ain't got to say what it's for. Just pray that the favor of God will be on us with us today Amen. because we need his favor in this situation, okay? Let's raise our right hand for the benediction. I got one question and ask for we do the benediction. Did everybody on the line get a word from the Lord today? I need to hear what a word. everybody what a word. on the line. Amen. Amen. Narrow road, Bob. Narrow road. Stand on narrow road. All right. The narrow road. Let's raise our right hand for the benediction. My name is David. You can see me in front of you. I want to thank the Lord to God and work with us. Of the heavenly dominion, be the power, be the glory, go now forever. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Let's give God a praise for the narrow road. Let's give him the praise. Let's give him the praise. Come on, give him the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the narrow road. Listen, from, from Pastor E and Samantha, Amen. we love you all and thank you for your prayer. From my house to your house, may God bless you and keep you. Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.